What's going on, guys? It is Welsh here, Dragon DSG here. I'm back to another Black Moon Rovers Cream of Season 3, guys. So make sure you hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And make sure you check out Loot Crate, guys, and use my discount code WDSG. And make sure you check out Soccer Star Shop and use my discount code over there. Links are in the description. But, guys, last episode, we sold Verna for £50 million. Which leaves us with a budget of around 50 million, 51 million in total, including what we already had, the discount and everything. So we have the two players, a striker and a cam player. So this is a player that we're after at the moment. Um, very good free kick taker. And we are looking to sign for around 10 million pounds. And he will be slotting straight into our team. So this does mean one thing though. If we do sign him, it takes a big chunk of our budget. Um, and it's going to change the balance of how, how we're going to be signing a few more players we got three games for you today guys we've got uh man city efl cup chelsea and newcastle united um and also a lot of transfer stuff going on as well so we'll all have a transfer deadline day special as well uh going on uh which will happen after the next episode so i'm gonna have to change this up a little bit so i've done it so we should be able to sign one or two players uh, on the wage. But I'm looking to go big. I want to bring in this cam. Because I think we've got enough strikers. But I want to go big on a striker. And see what we can sign. We've got plenty of time to do it. There is no rush whatsoever. Uh, Spurs is unacceptable at the moment. They won this 42 million for Janssen. And if I'm honest. I really don't want to be paying 42 million for him. And I try and keep pushing and pushing for 30 million. Um, for him, and also Bramiang has come back and they want 60 million for the player. I'm going to offer 40, um, and we'll see from there, uh, which means we can sign him maximum 40 at the moment, unless we do sell a few more players, which would only be about four or five million. But you know, we could end up signing a player for 45 million. Um, but we'll have another quick proper look around very soon. Um, of some players, so I'll create a short list for us guys, and I want to go big, I want an 85 rated player, something like that, in our team, um, a prolific goal score, but anyway, this is lead table at the moment, currently third place, no games to play, we're going in against Newcastle United, and we are going to be changing our side around a little bit, so before we go into it, we are going to be putting a lot of tally back in our lineup. Um and I think that's basically it, we didn't sell Burke, Ryan Burke gone. I thought we saw Burke. Oh, we was going to sell the... We was going to sign a different cam. I forgot about that. I was wondering why Burke wasn't gone. But um, Burke hasn't sold yet. Um, we do need a striker on, which we don't have right now. Which is not good. Which is really not good, actually. We don't have... Oh, we do. We do have Rittenberg. In all fairness, Rittenberg is a very good player. Do not knock him, guys. Honestly. Uh, we're, we'll drop Edwards. I really don't want Edwards. I don't like the kid. Um, but anyway, right, that's our side that we're going out with. One change from the team that beat Chelsea, which is Lottatelli. Um, oh, actually, we can bring... it will be two changes, actually. Uh, we can bring our other right back back into our lineup. There he is. We'll tidy all this team up. We got... I think I'm going to release a few youth players, if I'm honest. I want to try and get them all loaned out, but no one seems to be coming in with a loan offer at the minute. But we'll sort that out after this game. So, guys, if you should like, but follow me on Twitter while showing you should jump in this game against Newcastle. Over the top. Come on, Tammy Abraham. You've got pace. You've got pace. You've got that. He's overhit it, but you've got it. Good. Good, good, good. Far inside. There it is. Shoot. Oh, what a save. Almost a third goal for our new strike. And he's back healed it nicely to a... Shoot! Oh, what a save! Damn it! Cool. Lovely. Come on, just run at him. Shoot! Oh, save by the goalkeeper. Can we get a second? No. Come on, here we go, here we go. Free and free! It is! It's free! In free! Oh, that little bit of pace got past him. Come on! Free and free is another late, late goal for Blackburn Rovers. This man in the final 10 shows something else against any team for him. It was another set from our half. We literally just ran past and they got stuck to each other. Oh, that's unbelievable. Somebody just followed me on Instagram. Oh, great. Great goal. We've beaten we've beat Newcastle. We've beaten. Come on, Rittenberg. 
Penalty! There it is! It's a penalty! Come on! 90th minute. Arnold causing that. He was stretched for it as he cut back. Oh, I think that was a dive. I think that was a bit of a dive. Um, here we go. Oh, into the back net. It's two. Arnold's injured, though. Arnold is injured. That's our second player to go injured this game. Abraham went off, but we are 2-0 up. Oh, Cinnamon. Not Cinnamon. Simo one. Simi one, I don't know. Oh, what a goal. Giovino. Let's call him Giovino. I'm sure his name's Here Giovino. it is. We beat Newcastle 2 0. Great, great result, without a doubt. <laughs> we left it to the last two minutes, literally. But we cannot complain. Absolutely brilliant. We've won, and we possibly topped the league after the first game, winning 2 0. But uh, solid defence. Honestly, very solid. They had two shots, they did. Passing was pretty good. But I think a few more improvements. Honestly, we're on to something. We are on to something. At the moment, best results so far, so we will be top of the league. Okay, so we've just gone up the 91 rating. and we just got a notification, right? Which means that we've met a target. Let me... Great work. There it is. Want to help the club reach this brand exposure. Latest within 10, so we've done it. So let's have a quick look. We're going to see three seasons increase the ticket order, which is good. We're currently setting in the league. Current fans, 57 million. So, wait, if we got 57... Oh, no, we haven't got 57 million. Uh, player injured. Abraham's going to be out for three weeks. So, we need to bring in a new striker now. We need to bring in a new striker. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, not send forwards just yet. I'm going to see what strikers I can bring in. A big, big sign-in um, before the next transfer window finishes. So, I have put a few strikers into my shortlist right now. I require inquiries about them at the moment. So, we're waiting for them to come back to me. Callum Wilson is possibly a player that we bring in, but I want to go big. So, like, Abraham Yama looking to bring as well. Jansen that we've been talking about. Asa. Um, Alpaco. We are looking to sign uh, from Barcelona. 36 million at the moment. We also look to sign uh, Baca or Credit. Uh, and also Gabriel. So, all around the 20 to just under the 40 million pound mark. So, um, they have given us a value, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to offer to give them an offer now and just see if they come back. As you can see there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to offer 25, I'm going to offer the 26 million and we'll see if he'll accept it. He's got quite a big contract, uh, which is kind of a bit of a downfall for us. If this guy got a big contract left, been at this since 2015, uh, he's only got a year or so left, so we'll offer... Uh, 25 million. We'll just see if we can bring him in. He's a pacey customer. These two, Gabriel and uh, Credit, are two pacey customers other than this guy. He's not exactly the most paciest one ever. But he is 85 rated. So they, they do want a big one. So we'll offer the 35 million. And we'll see if we can accept. But he has got 180 grand wage. So I don't know if we're going to be able to sign him. But hopefully the calm will come back to us now. Um, and that we can actually get um, a signing in or even get some negotiation going on right now. Um, decline, I'm, to, uh, I'm a top player at my club, don't feel the move suits me. Thank you for your interest, please revise my offer. Okay, so I'm going to offer him a 40 grand wage, right? And I'm going to offer him that, five years, critical first team player. So he's got an extra five grand on top. Uh, we're going to see if we can sign him. So he's a bit of a greedy player. Um, you are oh, 48 million. Wow. 46. We're not going to be able to sign him. I was looking to sign Milk or Milky. I like to call him Milky. Um, 83 rated. See what I mean? He's a very good player, but honestly, wouldn't want to sign for 58 million, 48 million. We need to sign a cam as well. So we are, comp uh, we are compensating on the cam. Oh, wait a minute. Janssen's been accepted. Um, let's put an offer in for his wage. He wants 90 grand. Um, I don't know if I want Janssen now. I really don't. <laughs> what we'll do, we'll just make sure we just get all these offers going in and get them rolling. Because we can accept them within a week or so. And we'll just see Acer, 67 million, 51 million for Gabriel. Wow. Wow. A lot. They're basically countering everything they've valued it according to my scouts. It's the complete opposite. Uh, who's this? Oh, 78 rated. 79 rated. I thought you was 80 rated. You're not 80 rated. Wow. Okay. That's annoying. Um, Barcelona and a set the ball. Vivarreal, they won 46 million for him. 
Um, let's go with 35. Let's bang that up by 10 million. We got five, an extra 5 million, so we can push it a little bit more. Inter, they want 51 million. We're not going to be able to do that. So let's go in straight. I'm going to go straight in with a 40 million pound offer. That's all we can offer right now. Um, Manchester United, they want 58 million for Abramian. Literally, I can't. I literally can't. I can go. No, I can't. I'd probably be able to get an extra 2 mil, maybe. Um, possibly we could add a player to it, maybe get rid of Burke. Um, something down those lines. Janssen, of course, as a set did, so 30 million, which means we will have uh, 10 million pound left over. Um, so it could be interesting. Arnold as well, 8 million. No, you're not going anywhere. Reject offer 10 million, we could sell him for. I'm not giving you eight. Not happening. You're not <laughs> having my Arnold right now. He's a starting 11 player. We're not more out leaving. What? Why does Arnold want to leave? Because you haven't played two games? you kidding? Are you serious? Request to be trying to really sorry. Can't realize the issue. I can't stay at this football club any longer. I want to move this transfer window. Are you actually having a laugh? Are you kidding me? You're not going anywhere. I will put you up for sale. I'll add you to the transfer list, but I'm not getting rid of you. You're not going anywhere. I'm sorry. No. Why? You actually play week in, week out. Why? Why don't you want to play now? Why do you want to leave our club? Honestly, it is a shocker. I know. It is a shocker. Um, transfer offer for Jonas Rofe, which is good. Another youth player going out, so we've got a bit more budget um, on our wage. Um, Viverreal, they want... Oh, Inter's accepted the 40 million. That's accepted. Okay, we're going to sign this player because we want him to come in. He is only 79 rated, which is huge. <laughs> I'm a bit like, oh, my God. But we are going to sign. We do really need him, our team. Um, but as whether do I accept Janssen or do I accept Gabriel? So we're just going to stall Janssen for the time being. Um, Inter Milan is accepted to see what wage he wants. We'll offer him 70 mil, 70 grand even, 5 grand, critical first team player, um, 20 so I might have to put him on a bit more wage. But Gabriel's really fast. He's a really fast player. Um, so I've looked any more. Janssen's accepted the contract as well. And acceptable by Manchester United. Um, so we're not signing Abramian. Jans, uh Gabriel is probably a pretty good signing, I think. Um, I think Gabriel would be a good signing. I'm hoping he will. But we've got a new signing coming in. He'll be a signing against Chelsea. You can leave Arnold. He's given him his transfer request. Gabriel's accepted. Let me say, ensure to set one of the bids we are likely to receive. Well, I know. Well, well I put him up. I put him up on all. I put him up for sale. I put Arnold up for sale. Okay, Gabriel. I want to look at. Oh, it's Gabriel or Janssen. Right, Janssen's twenty-four years old. Extra ten million, less wage. But if we do accept him, we can't really sign anyone else. Like, that's it. That's our transfer window done. Um, and I really could do with him right now. So, I'm going to sign him. We've signed Gabriel. We have signed Gabriel. And, of course, we're going to reject Janssen. We need the pace. So, I think Gabriel will be a pretty good signing. Arnold wants to leave. So, we got to wait for those offers to come in now so we can get rid of him. And then we have to sign a new, um, a new what do you call it? A new right mid. Which is really annoying. So that's our team right now. So we're going to need another right mid. Moore's obviously going to be starting here quite often. But um, to be honest, I'm tempted to bring some, one of my low knees back. Who I currently got out on loan. One of the former Blackman Rovers players. But we do need a top one. So if I sell Arnold for a good 10 million or so. Um, we could possibly bring someone else in. A very good right mid player for 10 million. Or we could start playing Burke. So I'm not sure what we'll do there. But anyway, he's jumping this game against Chelsea. A lot of transfer stuff going on at this team. Here we go. Two new signings. You see £50 million spent in the last two days. Gabriel and... Um, oh my God, I forgot our attacking midfielder's name. But we've got two brand new strikers right now. Obviously, Werner sold for a surprise in £50 million, But um, Abraham's out injured for three weeks now. So, a lot of the size changing um, to not how I wanted it. It's like a lot of new signings are literally being dropped right into the deep end. But I think Gabriel is one of the big signings 
Um, a new uh, ever striker as well from uh, Atletico Madrid's son, manager's son. He's um, playing pretty well. He's got three and three at the moment, which is pretty solid. Cannot complain. Here we go. Inside. Yes, our new, one of our new signings as well. Oh, it's coming in. Oh, my God. It was almost four and four. Lovely. Over the top to Moore. Yes. Moore scores an assist from our new striker. Yes, Moore. Come on. Well done. Let's have a quick and some replay of that goal. Look at that for play. Look at that for play. Slots it in. They did what that team did to us pre season. We just did it there. All right. More. Here we go. Just more. Coming in. Oh, it's an own goal. It's more. He's forced an own goal with 2 0 up against Chelsea. What an absolute me they are having. It's gone in. I don't, know if I, I don't think that'll count as more. It is an own goal. Oh. Gabriel, I thought, was going to get on the end of that. But Moore is having a brilliant game. I think he's showing that he can replace Arnold. Come on, get across, Gabriel. Oh, yes! Gabriel scores on his debut! 3-0! Oh, brilliant from Gabriel. Great play. Moore again with technically two assists right now. And a goal. Great play. Moore is that showing Arnold up right now. Arnold can leave. The next offer that comes in, we'll find out after this game. Brilliant. Far inside. Can he turn? Oh, he ain't going to turn. He's going to play that over to Moore. <laughs> We've beaten Chelsea 3-0. A very convincing result. Moore came into his own. And this is the season he's playing right mid. I'm in debate on what I'm going to do with the Arnold situation. I am going to sell him. Arnold can go. But I'm going to recall a player back from loan if I need him. Right? It's uh, Maho Mahoney, or Mahoney, I think his name is. Um, played for Blackburn Rovers. He got quite good potential. So we're possibly going to be signing him. But uh, bringing him back to the club. But Arnold will be leaving Blackburn Rovers um, probably this episode or even next episode, maybe. If we can get like 10 million for him, that'll be pretty good. Um, whether we, I don't know if we should sign more players. Like, we don't necessarily have a replacement right mid now. Like, Arnold's there. Um, let me go to the right mid section. We do have Burke who can play. Maybe Burke, yeah, if Burke can play. We've got Alan. That's fine. We're kind of covered in a right mid position. So whether we end up signing someone new, I don't know. I honestly don't think we will, or we should. Um, so that doesn't particularly matter anyway. Um, but anyway, transfer offer for Jason Lowe. Um, oh, just give me the one million. Like honestly, I not you're not having him for that much. To be honest, we don't we not we don't play Jason Lowe in a minute. So we'll get out of here. We we'll get him off our books. He wants to go play. I want to see a lot of the original Blackburn side is changing now. It is three years' time. To be honest, if you look at Blackburn side three years ago, it's a lot, lot different uh, to real life. Anyway, uh, the exciting match is Jason Lowe will be leaving us. Um, but, yeah, we can't, we can't go out with that side. Can we go out with that side? We will. We're going to go out with that side um, because we got that there and we got, oh, we got a while. we got a good week before the next game. So that's good for us. And we got an international break. And then we got Man City again. Um, but anyway, right. So um, we're going to go in to this next game. We can't really make any more signings right now. That's kind of it for us unless Arnold sells. Uh, so Arnold's up on the transfer window. And if I was going to improve anyway, like, I don't really need to improve anyway right now. Like, possibly a left mid, um, replacement right mid. Um, but we need to sort out like our second team and stuff. We need to sort out the thirds and the youth academy as well. So we need to sort all that out. So that'll be all happening um, very, very soon. Um, but we'll see. It's the this game against Manchester City. A lot of transfer stuff going down next episode. So let's get into it. In the middle of the park. And I think, uh, the Gabriel. Oh, it's gone in! What a goal! Five minutes in! Gabriel gets two and two! Amazing! 
What a goal! Honestly, didn't expect that to go in. A lovely turn. Blocked by the defender, but it's point perfect in the corner. Come on, Colombo. Discovered! Goal! Colombo comes on as a sub and sets up Jack Byrne playing against his former club. And uh, we ended up going 2 0 against Manchester City. It's a very stalemate game, and all for him, I said, has been. But, uh, oh, great from Byrne. Great from Colombo. There it is. We have beaten Manchester City in the EFL Cup with a full team. In all fairness, Manchester City didn't have it, but we've won. And uh, it's a 2 in 2 for Gabriel. Brilliant, brilliant result so far. You know, honestly, you can't complain. We're playing so well. Our team is clicking. Uh, we got So next episode, we'll be seeing the sale of Arnold and a lot of stuff. And there'll be a lot of recap next episode. So next episode is a transit deadline day special. Um, so we're going to see who we're going to sell. We're going to try and get rid of a few lone E players. But as you can see there, tables, we're currently top of the league. And also, top goal scores at the moment is one of our new strikers with two goals. And we do have uh, Gabriel. He should be up there, maybe. No, he's not, because he's only scored once. He won't be just up there just yet. But uh, anyway, it's a very good start from all our players and clean sheets as well. We've got two clean sheets. Um, one clean sheet, even. That's weird. I thought we had two. I thought we had two clean sheets. I'm sure we have. We do. We have two clean sheets, but it doesn't count it. I don't know why, but we haven't conceded a goal. And it doesn't say we have two clean sheets. That's really annoying. That's really irritating, how it is, actually. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, they're big, big signings. We're involved in two of them. Draxler got to Barcelona for 53 million. Werner left us to go to AC Milan for 50 million. Then we brought in Gabriel for 40 million pounds. But anyway, guys, next episode is all goes down then. All the transfer deadline day stuff with full recaps. Will Arnold leave? And also, can we bring in any more players? Will we be loaning out anymore? We'll find out next episode, guys. So I want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B Sample with a dope ass beat And get some